get our acceleration here now. Well, we gotta wait for this Venza first. Okay, now we can get our acceleration. Woo! Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the all new 2023 Ram 1500 Bighorn. And this one has the Eco Diesel, and this is gonna be one of the last Eco Diesels ever produced because, well, they're getting rid of the engine. But, anyways, before we get into this video, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Ryan. And then, on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter V6 diesel known as the Eco Diesel that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 29 on the highway with power outputs being 260 horsepower and then 480 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go to the front end, I do to mention, if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting off with the hood itself, you can see it's raised there in the center and then it kind of falls off on either side. And then of course we have our 1500 Eco Diesel badge. And then popping down below, being a big horn, you've got the halogen lights. Notice you've got the chrome trim around the grill. You've got the fog lights. No tow hooks on this particular one though. And then the rest of the grill's, you know, blacked out. And putting it all together, looks pretty cool. Coming around the side here, tire wheel setup is 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the wheel itself, you got like a silver coloration on it and I think it looks pretty cool. We've got the Ram logo here on the side and then you guys can see we've got the fixed side step which actually goes from wheel to wheel, pretty neat. We've got the trailer tow mirrors in this one and then also you've got the blacked out door handles. Now it's kind of hard to see but just like all other new Rams, it has multi-link in the rear and then a solid rear axle. And then taking a look at the side view, I do like the molding there for the fenders and it's a good looking like work truck look. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, and then remote start. And then you got the Ram logo there on the back. Bada bing, bada boom. You can see it kind of slow lowers down. Payload capacity is 1,520 pounds with this particular truck. And then when it comes to bed features, this one doesn't really have anything, but it's got a bed. And then lifting up the tailgate, really light. Now we've got the base Bighorn taillights here and then you guys can see all of the badges here on the back end, exhaust tips there at either side. Um, now when it comes to towing capacity, this one has a 3.92 axle ratio, which would put the towing capacity somewhere in that like 9,000, 10,000-ish pound range. And then putting it all together, this, you know, has that, uh, like I said, kind of like work truck appearance to it on the outside. Now with the rear door panel, you guys can see cloth trim here and then look at the blacked out trim just up above and then we've got really nice padding down below and I like the two-tone theme with like the black and the gray. Now with these seats, you guys can see really cool gray cloth and then look at like the center portion of the seat as well. And you guys know I'm a huge fan of the big horn seats because they're just so comfortable. And there is nice storage space underneath. And then of course we've got the little ice buckets. Legroom here in the back is really solid. We've got a little storage pocket here, and then you can see you've got some vents and some more storage. And then headroom's also great. And don't you worry, this has a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door panel, you guys can see again with the black trim, then look at the cloth trim down below, and then the padding as well. And then we've got all of our window controls, notice the front two are automatic, and then you've got your mirror adjustments here. And like I said, it has the trailer mirrors. We got the cloth front seats here, and then look at the inserts in the center portion of the seat. And the seat is manually adjustable. We've got our parking brake right here, and then you can see the light control just up above. Notice with the fog light and the cargo light, and then the steering wheel itself is manually adjustable. So with the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice padding all around. You got the darker stitching in the center portion with radio controls on the back. Cruise control here on the front with our gear limiter. And then notice we got like our voice command phone controls and then some controls for the center stack. And then turn signal windshield wiper stock. Now, I initially thought that the new Bighorn was gonna come standard with the digital gauge cluster. And that's what a lot of sources said, but here's a 23 Bighorn and here's not a digital gauge cluster. So it must be an option with the Bighorn package. Um, but anyways, you can scroll through a bunch of different menus here with the Bighorn, see different bits of info on the vehicle itself. Pretty standard stuff. And then with the backup camera, you guys can see we've got a zoom function here. That, there we go, <laughs> apparently didn't wanna work right away. Resolution's pretty good. And then trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel. 
Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, um, first off, response time with the screen is pretty solid. Okay, we'll get that okay out of the way. Um, it's like a clicky sound. That is weird. Um, but it functions similar to the larger screen. Notice it has Android Auto, for example, um, just in smaller format, right? Now down below, we've got analog controls here for the radio. We have heated seats and a heated steering wheel here. Single zone climate. You got your tow haul mode, stability control, trailer brake controls already integrated from the factory. And I forgot to mention, nice black trim here with the 12 volt. We've got the dial shifter here for the eight speed automatic. We do have our two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, and then our four wheel low as well. Got a bunch of USB action happening down below. And then you guys can see here, bada bing, bada boom. Got like our storage space thing right there. So we have this center console seat type situation. Nice seat. Uh, I do believe it has storage at the bottom too. Look at that, lots of storage. Now the glove box says big horn on it, which is pretty cool. And then decent storage in there. And then also down below as well. We have a regular mirror here and then we have a power sliding rear window and then just a darker colored headliner. So it's kind of hard to see because of the water. Maybe this will help out a little bit. There we go. 2023 big horn. And uh, this has quite a few options added to it. So the 28Z package and then 392 axle ratio eco diesel, which is $5,500. Wow. Um, after all options, this one stickers for $61,060. Do do do. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors, and again, it has trailer mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear, and let's set off. So we are setting off here in this big horn. I guess we had an impasse with the Mazda. Okay, there we go. Mazda CX-50, you will rue the day. No, just kidding. But anyways, I've driven a few Rams today. I started off with a Rebel, then I went to a Limited, and now we're at a big horn. I guess I did it in kind of like an opposite order. <laughs> I actually went from the, yeah, because the Rebel is actually more expensive than the Limited. If I remember right. So I went from the most expensive truck to the least expensive uh, truck. Most people try to do the opposite so that they don't uh, make it so that they have expensive taste and then realize that uh, their budget can only afford so much. But anyways, with this truck, uh, it rides really well. Um, the suspension's very comfortable. Again, just having the standard multi-link is great. Now this isn't as comfortable as an air suspension truck like that Limited that I drove, but it's still really good. Um, some other stuff, tons of torque out of the Eco Diesel. With the 392 axle ratio, it really feels punchy. It's it's strong. So I think that that is a big plus. Yeah, and going over these bumps and everything, it does a solid job. And let's see how it goes over this. Yeah, pretty pretty solid actually. Steering's great with the new Ram 1500. It's um, pretty dang direct and it's light as well. So, you know, for a truck steering rack, that's what you want. Right, you don't want it to be going all over the place. Like you see, I can turn the steering wheel and it actually does something pretty much immediately. So moving along with the big horn. Yeah, so much torque. It's a big thing here. Thank goodness I'm, all, I'm not in that part of the road because potholes everywhere, wow. But yeah, this thing just moves. It's super smooth too. I love this powertrain. I'm so sad that Ram's getting rid of it. It's such a shame. That is for sure. Get our acceleration here now. Well. We gotta wait for this Venza first. Okay, now we can get our acceleration. Woo! It's so torquey. It's not as quick as like a truck with a 5.7 Hemi, but like, I don't know, the torque is just great. I've said torque like 50 times in this video. Start start taking shots. Um, but anyways, to sum things up here with the Bighorn, I'm actually gonna turn on the heated steering wheel because my hands are getting a little chilly. I think this truck looks great on the outside. You know, from, from a work truck perspective, I'm a huge fan of the Bighorn interior. It's definitely like a premium feeling, you know, entry level interior, if that makes sense. The seats feel really nice. They're very, very comfortable. And then I love how this truck drives. The suspension's great. Um, it's comfortable with that multi-link. And with the 392 axle ratio, this Eco Diesel moves. And I think it's a great powertrain. Um, this powertrain obviously was kind of given a bad rep because of the last version, but this new iteration is a lot more reliable and it's more powerful. It's still very economical. So there's a lot to love about it. So yeah, this is really, it's your last chance to get an EcoDiesel. So if you are looking for a Ram 1500 with a diesel powertrain, 
then you gotta get one now or else you're gonna have to buy a used one and who knows what the used values will do like everyone thinks that because a vehicle gets discontinued the used values will like skyrocket and sometimes it happens with some vehicles other vehicles however it doesn't necessarily happen and so we will just have to see um but i guess historically the ecodiesels have you know held their value pretty well so i uh definitely see this truck i wouldn't say selling for huge money but i see it retaining um some of the value pretty well but let me know what you guys think that's gonna something's up with our video on this big horn eco diesel again a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry miller dodge ram here in sandy for giving me some time with this truck check out the intro in the description down below i'll see you